Got a quick tip for you today. This is one of the shims from my old dado set. And see how it's all chewed up and bent in the center? So this happens because as you're loading the shims onto the arbor of the saw, they drop between the threads before being pushed all the way over. And then when you tighten down the dado, it smushes this and the threads act like sort of a stamping press and put these, these crimps into the shims. And this is really annoying because before too long they can get pretty chewed up and these sharp edges start to bend in and you can't get them on the arbor and I've uh, taken a file to these and try to file them down. But I figured out how to avoid this so I wanted to share that with you today. So I'm setting the miter fold dado set up to make miter fold joints in material whose thickness happens to require that I use quite a few shims so it's a good way to demonstrate this technique. And I really don't want myself or you to mess up the shims that come with this beautiful set. Saw's unplugged, of course. Okay, so I'm all loaded up. Now you can tell you're gonna have this issue if you push in the middle and you still have that wobbling. So this blade isn't moving over on the arbor as far as it could because the shims are falling between the threads and they're holding it up. So if I just put this washer nut on and just tighten it down with the wrenches, I'm going to start crimping those shims and start ruining them like I did with my last dado set. And that's no good. So here's what you do. Make sure the arbor doesn't turn, but take the whole dado set and just with light pressure, Spin it around. Now you got to make sure the carbide tips don't start hitting each other and and all that stuff. Just kind of keep it all together, but just spin it. Now what's happening, all of the shims that are stuck between the threads get threaded to the left and they start climbing up out of their troughs. Now you can see there's no wobble. Everything's hugging this, this flange, so if I tighten it down now, I won't be crushing any shims. Tighten it. Just takes maybe an eighth of a turn, not quite a quarter of a turn, uh, and I don't feel any of the resistance and then crunching and then another quarter turn and so on that I used to feel when I was crimping those shims. So I can be pretty confident that I didn't damage any of the shims uh, during this operation.